All right, guys, it's Team 3 Seven back with another piece of this video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Film Red Beckman. Uh, shout outs to Rajin, I think it's Rajini Varian. I think I'm saying that right. I hope so. Uh, they requested um, this unit for, I think it was under my Uta video, if I don't remember correctly. Or if I remember correctly, should I say. And I'm not sure if uh, I'm going to make this into a Forgotten Unit. He kind of is a Forgotten Unit, but he also. It has really good screenshots, so I might just give him a regular showcase. So I'll just do my usual talk. If it is one of those, um, obviously I'm gonna give him the ranking and all that at the end, and there's gonna be no edit. But if they're, you know, if it's just regular showcase, then no. But uh, yeah, like I said, we're looking at Film Red Beckman, and honestly, he's really fun. It's just he's not crazy anymore. Like he can still do pretty good, depending on maps. Uh, he's very map dependent because a lot of uh, his skills go through walls um so just keep that in mind either like a flat map or uh, somewhere where you can land your shots that's really like the best bet for you um but like nowadays he's like like if i give once again if i were doing like the, the ranking out of like a 10 maybe like a six uh at best uh he also has a status which does suck now because a lot of people just know by status straight up so you can't really use it too too much depending on who you're fighting so keep that in mind uh for the metal set i'm gonna be using my bellow buddy set actually i was gonna use my generic uh defenders but i think skill two cooldown is the way um uh, so it's gonna be page one metal so when i'm down i get skill one and then queen metal when i'm on my flag i get 13 percent skill uh skill two as well or should i say skill skill two for the uh what's it called uh page one uh stats are pretty decent one uh one k for hp 300 attack and 500 defense uh like i said it is my bellow buddy set so it's a little bit beefier than the other ones so just keep that in mind um for his skills though he's gonna have don't move this is his skill one it's uh the status like they talked about so it's long range area effect the chance to inflict intim uh intimidate yeah yeah there you go and a speed debuff and love by sagras at period of time so intimidate is for 10 seconds uh speed reduction is 20 percent for 10 seconds and the cooldown is 24 seconds it's a pretty good skill it's nothing too crazy doesn't do damage but the status is good because it'll basically render the other person useless it's kind of like if you're fighting a perona back in the day when she gives like the depression state whatever the fuck it's called um they can't use skills but they can dodge so just keep that in mind so if you're facing somebody like alber which i actually did not know when he gets his perfect dodges he just takes off the status i totally forgot about that um so you know people like albert um what's it called shanks uh all those guys you know be aware of their perfect dodge same thing with zoro because zoro can still do damage against you so just keep that in mind and then the other one is uh you were saying something this is his extra long range area type with knockback effect it's the bullet the Damage will also ignore defense, which is pretty good. Uh, attack ignores obstacles. No of attack for a period of time. The uh, skill attack is 422 with ignore defense, which is pretty good for this meta right now. Uh, it has knockback, ignores ob obstacles, like I said, and the cooldown is 34 seconds. Um, but yeah, very, very good skill there. Nothing too, too shabby there. Um, so for his traits, though, when you're doing damage on third hit, you get knockback, um, which is pretty good, but a lot of characters can't get knockback anyway, sadly. When attacking an enemy with skill 2, you get... Um, you take away their skills by 30%, which is really good. Uh, kind of renders them useless as well. And then when you hit somebody with uh, in, uh, Intimidate, you get a 50% damage increase. And you also get skill 2 by 5%. So, you know, you're, you're basically just trying to get as much Intimidate as you can. Try to hit them with normals or just shoot them with the skill 2 uh, to get that cooldown as well. And then when in your capture treasure, you get 30% reduction. And also you uh, reduce uh, normal attacks to you by 50%, which is pretty good. Um, especially a lot of people with like strong strong normals like a yamato and ace but i'm pretty sure they'll just disregard your uh reduction anyway i think it's reduction defense one of the two but people with strong normals won't do as much and also you get a status null uh he presents the cracker tray or the biscuit boy should i say i don't want to get canceled on youtube again <laughs> so uh yeah it's like the biscuit boy or ulti trait it's pretty good there sanji if you want to say that but sanji fucking sucks so we're not gonna say that <laughs> And then when you your team's uh, treasure area and, and the treasure gauge is 80% or more, you also resist stagger uh, and you resist knockback as well to downed, which is pretty good. Um, when you knockback an enemy, you get a 15% heal and also you get skill two or skill one by 15%. So your last hit will give you more skill one to get the more intimidate to you know help you get your skill two. Um, and then it boosts trades and generic defender one. Um, on the side, I'm going to be using uh, if it wants to load up, uh, what's it called? Oni Usopp. 
my goat, the the best runner in the game. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna stop glazing, but obviously he's fucking phenomenal, so I'm gonna be playing him anyway. The support though is gonna be 166.3. It's attacker, strap, pirate, zone, grand line, a little bit of new world defender, navy, paramecia, captain, worst gen, and runner. I was going to use my attack setup, but I think tank is the way to go because he is a blue unit, and also he's not max anyway, so uh, I want to be as tanky as I can. Um, like I said, he's a He's a very, very fun uh, defender. He's just not crazy anymore, in my opinion. Uh, you can get some pretty cheeky shots on like maps that have big walls like Drum Island. If you go from the side flag to the other one, you can literally shoot them across while they captain the flag. It's very, very good. Uh, I had a match, I think uh, one of the Shanks, he kept on targeting me after I did it once because he thought I was hacking, so I thought that was pretty funny. Um, so yeah, like I said, Beckman, he's not too bad. He, you know, he didn't age the greatest, but um, he's not the worst in the world. He has good you know status good uh uh what's it called traits for his age but you know nowadays defender in general is really not great because there's so many defenders already in your matches anyway i've had a couple that had like four defenders we literally were not gonna win because gear five doesn't cap flags wiper doesn't cap flags and i do not clap uh cap flags either way so yeah this is uh beckman like i said let me know what you guys think about his video let me, let me know what you guys think about him as well let me know how i did um shout outs once again for the uh the crust as well and with that being said, the Team 3 are signing out, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.